What's this sneaker fan? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today we do have another sneaker review and it is on the Ying Yang pack. As you guys can see right here, I have the two shoes. I picked them up because I thought I would want to wear them, but now that I'm looking at them, I don't think I'll actually keep them, but that's probably why I won't, I won't have an on-foot review, but I'm still going to review them for you guys. And basically, start off, you do have your normal Jordan 1 all the way around on the black pair. Except, the only thing I don't like about the shoe is the leather. The leather quality isn't as good as it is on the other three pairs that I have behind me. You can't see a third one up here, but it's a bread one. And obviously, it's not that big of a shoe compared to those three, but it is a nice shoe. I like the shoe, how it's like black and white. I like how you can like probably mismatch them. You can even wear like one white, one black one day, or you can really do whatever you want. Honestly, maybe the best leather on this shoe would probably be right here, right behind the swoosh. But other than that, the leather in the shoe really isn't all that nice, like on the other Jordan 1s, which is like really disappointment because if you're gonna like put good leather on one shoe, you might as well put them on all the shoes. That's just my opinion. I don't know what Jordan brand is doing with that. A uh, nice little detail that I like is this red right here with the white Nike logo. I guess it makes it pop a little bit, even though it's such a small detail, but like people do look at that, especially me. I love little details like that. I don't know if it's OG or not, but it does say Nike Air. Instead of having the big jump man or a jump man here, which is I that's a nice detail in my opinion because I don't like the jump man on the back. And moving on to the white pair, you basically have the same thing, same kind of material, same kind of leather. And once again, you do have the Nike logo, except, except it's in black here, and then you do have the red background. They both come with the same color lace as the shoe, but they come with the alternative, which the black one comes with another white set of laces, and this one comes with a black set of laces as well. Which is, I would personally throw them on if you have if you have them. Or if I'm probably going to keep them, I'll probably throw on the black laces because the black swoosh, really, it like, it contrasts with the white here, first of all, on the eyelets. And then it, like, really ma it matches with the swoosh right here. And then for this one, the white laces will match with the swoosh on here and the Air Jordan logo. And I forgot the black Air Jordan logo there as well. They both have black inner linings. Showing you guys the insole of this one. You do have Nike Air in black, and then you have a white background. I don't know if you can see that, but there we go. Then, of course, you have size 8. That is my size, just in case I was going to keep them. On the other pair, you have the same thing, except it's inverted. I was originally going to do two different reviews on these shoes, but I figured, like, they're the basically the same shoe. They don't come in a pack, but they're considered a pack because they're yin and yang. I guess, like, they're basically the same shoe, just different colors. And then the only difference, really, about, like, them being opposites is... The sole is black on this one, and it's white on this one, which it should be black on this one, and white on this one. This should be black on the midsole. That's just my opinion, like, how they should have done it, but either way, the shoe still looks nice. Honestly, you can use this shoe. This shoe is really good, so you can customize Jordan 1. You can do it out of this pair, too, but the only downside is that it's black, so you do have to put, like, lighter colors first, and then you can go into the darker colors so you can't see them. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. I know it's pretty short. I'm not going to do it on feet just because I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Or if I don't sell them, I'll probably return them or give them away to somebody. I don't know what I'll do with them. I might even customize them in the end. Who knows? Like I said, I did pick those up at Foot Action yesterday. I bought them for 160 each because that's how much Jordan ones go for. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 1,000 by the end of this year. Right now, we're like at 830 something, which is pretty close. I know we can do it because... Like, within every day, I'm getting, like, 8 to 10 subscribers, so it's pretty good. You guys are doing a really good job at that. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it a lot. It's your boy, Sneaker, signing out. Make sure you stay woke. Peace.